Won't you be my neighbor? Whoa! You know what time it is. We got something here. Uh-oh, guys. <laughs> Today's an awesome uh, situation going on. <laughs> We're going to open this bad boy up. Cables. Uh, USB-C uh, type cables. Interface uh, rate. 40 gigs. Do you need that for your gaming and editing keyboard? Especially gaming that people feel like cables really do matter, right? So I was going to get the cables, you know, with the uh, uh, XLR uh, aviator caps and all that. For those people that understand that talk. But I was like, you know what? I want to get a few other things. So we made the money stretch out. Got a few other things for the channel and for ourselves here and our setup. And I bought a pair of cables. It comes two in a pack for like about $10.19 or something like that by Anchor. And they six feet cables, right? Because the length does matter. The shorter the cable, the better is going to work for you. So this is the first time I'm opening it right here in front of you guys. So uh, just has a little crack in the packaging there i'm big on the packaging but it's all white that's why you don't see none there's nothing there just but the name uh it's pretty cool baby blue so uh you know it tells you the address or where it comes from is six foot uh usb c to usb a or you know how it goes the big one goes in the pc the little one goes behind the keyboard so today we're gonna hook it up and see, could you use could you just use budget cables because it has a white cable for a long time, and it's on my desk. And actually, the top of my desk has like a white super, uh, you know, like a gaming pad type of situation. But it's humongous that it covers the whole desk, and just like the white stands out like hard. Although at times, I play with the glorious minus O minus. And it's white anyway, but I don't like too many white things at certain times on my desk. So I changed it to black, right? And these are braided, by the way, uh, neon braided cables. So, yeah, let's open these bad boys up and see what's up. So once you're done sweating and going through that situation of getting this little tape to uh, come off or what have you, just because I like to do it a little neat, I'm a box type of guy packaging type of guy and i keep my stuff in his actual box that come so i don't know there's gonna be another cable left over because i'm just using it for this keyboard well they supposed to be i think cardboard black so i'm keeping it a real super real because it's the only thing i i know how to do so yeah there's two of them in the package they six foot it says that they black when i ordered them i don't think i seen cardboard uh, uh, like carbon fiber, <laughs> but they like a grayish. They not actually the tips are black. This is like a grayish, like carbon. But you want to know something? I'm gonna keep them. It costs like about seven and change to send them back. But if it cost me less, like free to send it back, I would send them back just because it's not the exact black. And I'm picky. I I need to be exact. But if you're gonna get these. Uh, uh, right, and you want black ones, make sure they says black, not carbon, because this is black, and this looks a total different color there, too, or am I bugging out, let me know, am I bugging, be honest, let's see if you can be honest, because some people lie, no, it looks black, that looks gray to me, and that looks black, but anyway, the USB-C, this is USB-C, for those of you that don't know. This is USB-C in the cable, right? You see that it has like a little line, if you see like a little in the middle, and on the other side it has nothing, and it has the regular USB, right? That goes into the back of your PC or to the switcher, whatever, right? The thing is, people are saying that certain cables don't work for their keyboard and vice versa is because you might be ordering USB-C micro, with these two little hooks on it. That's micro. If it says USB-C, make sure that it don't have like these two. And you're going to see it and when it describes the, the product. In the pictures, it has two little lines. Two little like dot, dot. Right? On the side. That those little hooks go into like 
the cables that I bought for this Xbox, they micro, it clam in there so it could attach it and it, it doesn't depart, you know? But hopefully you understand what I'm saying. So it has like these two little clams there. That's not the one you want for, well, this USB-C keyboard is just USB-C that is plain. It doesn't have those two little hooks, but it has kind of sort of like a little line down the middle and the other side is plain. Anyway, let's hook these bad boys up. Do cables matter the size? Yes. After like six feet, I think it's five feet something. So I keep it six feet to be safe. It starts, your RGB is lighter, it's not as bright. If you're using audio or any functions in keyboards and anything in life, it kind of like lessens it. So remember, if you're passing data through some of these cables, uh, audio, whatever you're doing, the longer the cable, uh, the worse uh, sound quality you're going to have. Uh, 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 any type of quality that you're trying to get out of it, it deteriorates it because of the length. Of the cable It's like too long It needs to travel my guy Like you got a 20 foot cable And expect to get the same sound You had with a 3 foot It's not happening But anyway this is for keyboards Let's get to it Let's hook this up Let's see if it works Can you just use A 10 or 7 dollar cable Any cheap cable To plug into that keyboard And make it work the same way This is the Warmia K61 Phoenix edition I'm plugging it into Right now so as you can see right here, his original cable is this white one. I'm about to disconnect it. Pop. And put it over there. And it's connected to a switcher. It goes into the back of my desk under. And it's connected to a switcher. So when I press a button that I have here. And I'm going from my streaming or recording uh, rig, right? Which is this one right here. It switches from PC to PC and it takes everything with it the microphone the keyboard the mouse and then it comes back I do that with a switch a USB switcher that's under the desk I put it under there with 3M tape so I just click and I'm gonna um, switch over in a second and I'll put that in the description also all these products will be in the description this switch I have it for over a year and it's awesome and it wasn't even 20 bucks oh this is pretty cool it has like a little velcro they that comes with it it says their name of course they brand you know letting you know where it comes from because after that you could either use this or you could use use it for something else that'll be that's cool so off top is is pretty cool it's pretty durable it's not super flexy i mean I, i'm not gonna use this it's not for a mouse it's for a keyboard now when it comes to cabling or braided cables one of the things that i've always done i've always added like a lighter and i go like this real light through the cable just because it starts getting like frizzy and the little hair start coming out a lot of these uh braided cables especially if it's a little budget you can't expect too much for the price point these are like not even eleven dollars on amazon links in the description but let's connect it and be careful and make sure you keep uh safety precautions if you're young make sure you get your parents to do this let's get to it tech for rec t-e-k the number four and r-e-k let's see if it works guys now that I went through something major, trying to, <laughs> I had to go under the desk and a bunch of other stuff. Let's see if this bad boy plugs in. And if we see any light come on, then you know what? It worked. It's a miracle. And you can buy any budget cable. Amazing. Wow. That's cool. So I just think that even though they gave me like this grayish one, it, when you look at it, it looks like brighter there because of the lights. But right here on my desk, it actually feels a whole lot better than having this white one. And I'll just use that for now until I get one that's fully black. I just didn't want to buy a rubber one. I like the braided ones. These are like rubberish. Now, as far as how fast is it going to perform and all that, I think it's just fine. And I'll test it right now in a second. Overall, I think it has a better calm look than just like a white cable sticking out of everything that's black. And when you're looking at it right here, it actually goes with this looks a little darker in the camera. It's actually like a carbon, if I'm saying it right, you know what I mean. Carbon fiber type of black, <laughs> right? Let's get to what we came here for. So overall, I think the cables are cool. 
uh, is this something that I would buy again? Of course, I typed with it real quick, like act like if I was looking for something on YouTube, and the typing it was actually it seemed like it was faster. So I was like, no, you got to be kidding me, and I ain't even lying. I never do that. This is not a sponsored video. These products are bought by me. Let me know if you would like to see more content like this and things that you could buy that could better your setup. So do they work? Of course they do. Uh, uh, for ten dollars, my dude. And uh, by Anchor, just like that. So do you need aviator cables? Uh, awesome. They got cables that cost 50 cents, $100, $200 for keyboards. And could you just buy a simple cable and plug it in and make it work for you? And it works the same. <laughs> it did so far for me. But stay tuned for an update of it. I'll use it for about a week. And I'll let you guys know how it went with my gaming and all that. Who knows? I may do it tomorrow. Let me know if you would like to see more content like this and what would you like to see or what would you like us to talk about drop it in the comment section i look and answer 99 percent of my comments we do a lot of giveaways on this channel this week we're doing giveaways stay tuned for the guy who thought that you won you didn't win uh, uh somebody had won already on that situation and you wasn't subscribed so if you're not subscribed you cannot enter the giveaways you have to be subscribed for approximately 72 hours before you can enter any other giveaways. Stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in to Tech for Rec. Check the links in the description for our other platforms where we are on every day live doing content and telling our life story and how we started doing tech and how we got here. I love you guys. I'm a million percent grateful. If you can see there, what I was trying to do is, at least you can't see this black cable. You can see this white cable a lot. So it's like a cardboard black, I think they would call it. You know, but you can't see it, and that's what I wanted. That's the one it came with, supposed to be a better cable, and this is the budget-friendly cable from Anchor. Links in the description. What you think?